What's going on, Collective? I'm not even going to get into it. Happy Monday. Happy Love Day. If you're new, have a seat. Get comfortable. We're just going to get straight into it. Ancestors of a highest good and light. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for the protection downloads. Thank you for the messages. For me and the Collective that is watching, as above, so below. Let's go. Y'all. I was in the middle of the reading. You know what it is. We're in Mercury retrograde. There's a lot of cock blocking. There's a lot of... Uh, <clears throat> interruptions and spirit is showing me you know just go with the flow don't get upset don't change your vibration because you got some good things coming in okay so the first oracle cards that came out was cock blocking love on the brain impersonator and obsessive lover dangerous toxic unhealthy possessiveness karmic this is somebody you dealing with that was you was dealing with in the past this person is for some of you this person is dealing with someone that looks like you they you know what i'm saying but they're not happy because they're still thinking about you like somebody could look like you but that don't mean they you right and then we have this person here that looks like michael jackson but it's not michael jackson you understand so you the star Right. And they're trying to duplicate you. They're trying to uh, clone you into someone else. OK. And it's not working. And what spirit told me also um, is that this person is cock blocking. OK. And they're thinking about you night and day. OK. Fantasizing about you with this person sexually. OK. And spirit also showed me that this is the king of cups. That you could be or you're going to have someone new come in your life. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay. And what Spirit showed me is that this, this karmic went to a spiritualist. Because you are spiritual. Okay. You don't have to be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But you could have heavy water in your chart. Ha happy birthday to all my Pisces, by the way. Okay. Because people don't want to see you win. They don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you move on. They don't want to see you enjoy life with someone new. Okay. And we have the page of swords here as well. So that's how I know this is a new person. Very strong air energy coming towards you. Someone that is balanced. Someone that's going to give you exactly what you want. Reciprocation. Someone that's going to treat you the same way you deserve to be treated and the same way you treat them. This is a soulmate. Okay. And it's multiple lovers. There's a karmic and there is a soulmate. Okay. And spirit is letting me know there is a decision that needs to be made, which is clear as day, what to do. You're going to have to let this person know if they try to come back into your life or show up. They're not showing up because they really want you. They're showing up because they don't want you to be happy with nobody else, like I said. So they want to have their cake and eat it too, right? This is that Knight of Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, okay? And they're stuck. They're cock blocking. They're stuck. They're keeping communication from happening between you and this person. I don't know if they're paying somebody. This person could drive a motorcycle or this new person could be uh, ride a motorcycle or drive a motorcycle. I don't know, but I feel like they're paying someone to keep your options at bay. Like don't allow anyone to come in towards you. OK, and spirit is telling me you got to keep yourself cleansed, you know, don't worry because it's all going to work out for you. OK, especially with the Ace of Swords and the Knight of Wands, you've been waiting on this type of energy. And if you take the Three of Wands and the Four of Wands is the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is about protection, standing firm in what you believe in, keeping your boundaries up by using your affirmation, speaking your truth. That's how you protect yourself, okay? Because you do have a soulmate with the Queen of Cups, okay? The person that this person is dealing with is a Queen of Wands. Now, they they similar, okay? Because the Queen of Wands is Sagittarius uh, uh. and Pisces energy. I told you that they trying to get this person to come towards you. They trying to um, get somebody that's similar to you to try to attack you to try to keep you from receiving what you've been waiting on but it does not work eight of wands okay 
it's going to clear up. It's because we are in Mercury retrograde, okay? And Spirit is telling me there is a death. Everything's coming back out. Thank you, Spirit. Everything's coming back out because they really tried to fuck up this com uh, connection, this video, okay? There's a balance. There's a transformation. There's a rebirth. It's like one thing ends and a new, be a new beginning, a new... Um, Something that happened bad is going to turn out good is what spirit is telling me. You have the victory over this person who's trying to stress you the fuck out. Because see, the person that they're going to is the queen of wands, but you are the motherfucking empress. You are the divine feminine. Okay. And you are creating new love to come in towards you because you're loving on yourself. You're putting yourself first. And so there's a lot of conflict. But like I told you, you and this person with the king of cups, queen of cups, and the emperor and the empress, they can't stop this. OK, you allow whatever needs to happen, happen, because you're going to have some words for this person. They took their motherfucking time to try to come towards you and bring in this little bitty offer of, oh, I want to be dependable. I want to be reliable. But they're lying. They're lying. They're hiding. OK, they are not trying to do that with the three of swords. All right. And spirit is going to give you wisdom because this person is a karmic. I can't make it up. They just don't want to see you happy with the five of swords. Let's keep going, right? But that's the, it doesn't matter what they don't want that what they want. It does not matter. Okay. Oh, child, I tell you. <laughs> whenever you be trying to do something for you, people want to come through and try to like over over, you know, um cock block. They they want to try to like over take your happiness and that's not happening nah not happening you have the victory like i said okay and spirit is guiding this so don't worry this whatever this person is doing it's gonna backfire okay it's going to backfire <sighs> and that's what that's what i was saying this whole time right same shit different day right this person just wants to come in, act like they care about you, love you. They might try to pop up for you on your birthday or a celebration at someone else's birthday. You might be connected to someone that's a Pisces, right? But I'm not playing. They're going to try to travel towards you, okay? You are going to go on a trip in the next three months, Spirit is saying. That, that's a side note. But allow 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 them to do whatever they're going to do because you're going to let this person know about themselves. And the person that they working with undercover in the dark, right? Exactly. It's going to send them running. Okay? So we have the Knight of Swords here twice. <clears throat> we have the Knight of Swords here twice. Okay? This is someone who comes in and out of your life. Only want you for sex. They only want you, your energy. That's what I'm hearing. They just want to take your energy. Damn. <laughs> they just want your energy. Lord have mercy. They got me all over the place, y'all. Look, they just want your energy. They want to come in and take from you what you've built for yourself. Being happy, right? And now you got somebody coming in and they trying to block this person by keeping communication between you and them, you know, at a pause. But it's only the mer Mercury retrograde and the, and, the, and the dumb shit that they're doing with this Queen of Wands. Exactly. They walked away. They did not put anything into this. And now that you're ready to move on. And enjoy your happiness. See, that's you walking to enjoy your happiness. They want to try to, they want to try to bring some kind of light, passion, right? To see if you still into them. Okay, if you still interested, right? Are you still interested? Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles. No, I know you're not. I know you're not. No, no. And the Ace of Swords is a yes, right? But it's a no because. You are the one who is holding your crown up. You're loving on yourself. You probably do love this person, but you don't want to be with them. Or do you? Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So this is them coming in, right? Taking their time. And now they want to come in with a message. Why? Yeah, they not happy. I told you, five of swords. 
Okay. Um, very conflicted and what they want. This person don't know what they want, first of all. But it doesn't even matter because you don't want them. And I think you're going to let them know that. They're going to come in acting like they want to be with you, but they don't. They just don't want you to move on. Page of Swords. Page of Swords is all about learning, about speaking the truth, being honest. Right? <clears throat> exactly. Your intuition is telling you the truth. Right? Listen to what your intuition is telling you. Pisces energy. That's why I said strong Pisces energy. Okay? So, you know what you want. And you know that you want something that's going to make you happy. That's going to that's going to add to your happiness. So, you are going to meet this person. This person is also spiritual. We saw the Queen of Cups, King of Cups, Emperor, and Empress. Okay? They're no match for the person that's coming into your life. This blockage is only a delay to teach this person something, okay? That they can't stop what's meant, what's faded. Ten of Cups. Clarify the Ten of Cups, please, and thank you. Thank you. Exactly. Four Cups, right? This is someone who is unhappy because they missed out on an opportunity. They had you and they fumbled the ball. And that's why they acting the way they acting right now. Because they know the truth. Eight of Swords. They can't stop thinking about it. Exactly. It's over. It's over. It's over. Okay. So I guess. I don't know who sings that song. Um, um, what's the child name? <sighs> Chrisette Michelle. Yes. I forgot the name of the song. But I'm hearing it. Mm-hmm. But I think it's called It's Over. Yeah. This is somebody from your past. Six of Cups. Somebody that has children with you possibly. Okay. Somebody that you have children with or a family with. Um, Somebody you have history. It doesn't have to be children. Okay. Yeah. And then you have Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Right. And then you have the number six on the lovers. When I say a strong soulmate, yeah. And that's probably why this person is still trying to stay connected to you because you have children with them. They don't want to see somebody else give into this connection with you. They don't want to see somebody taking care of their children. Mm. All the insecurities, karmic. Okay? Yeah. They don't want to see somebody giving you better. They don't want to see you with better options. <laughs> Okay, six of pentacles, please. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I told you. They don't want to see you with better options. Okay, six of pentacles, three of cups. Hell yeah, right? Somebody that actually match your fly, match your energy, give you happiness, right? Somebody that enjoys your bubbly personality is what spirit is saying to me, right? This person really enjoys that. And your karmic, your past person knows that about you. And they try to impersonate um, they try to get somebody to impersonate you, but this person does not make them happy. This person makes them stress. Seven of Cups. They try to fantasize about you. <laughs> All right. But you got a few admirers is what Spirit is telling me with this lovers and the Seven of Cups. Yeah. Few admirers coming in. So I told you, they don't want to see somebody offer you something better, solid, whole for you. And you're getting it. Okay. You're getting it. And this person's going to have to sit back and watch you do it with somebody else. Mm hmm. Mm all the cards came back out. They couldn't stop this message if they wanted to. They just delayed it. Okay, it was just a delay. But we back on we back on track. Okay, higher fit energy is commitment. This is what spirit is offering you: a committed, loyal lover. Okay, someone who's patient, balanced, secure the bag. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> Page of Swords came back out. So, Spirit is saying, pay attention to what? Exactly. Look how things balance out, okay? Allow things to take its natural course because it's working for you, not against you. This delay is just 
causing this person to see what they tried to stop is inevitable. It's going to happen. Don't be trying to pop my cards out. <laughs> okay, manifestations. Exactly. They can't stop it. I can't. It can't stop it. Okay. It's happening whether they like it or not because it's all about you. I told you. They're trying to get somebody like you to stop this. And that person don't have your spiritual gift. Listen, you can't come attack me when I'm protecting me. Right, collective? You can't come attack the collective when they're protected. Protect your energy. Stay focused on what you want, not on what you don't want. That's one. Two, speak your affirmations every day. Do your candle work and magics. You know, uh, cleanse yourself with a cleanser. You know, make your own clean cleanser, uh, spiritual washes, okay? Sage, thyme, uh, rosemary, okay? Get creative because that's who you are, right? You don't have to pay nobody to protect you because you know how to protect your own energy. You know how to manifest what it is that you want. Okay, and this person that's coming in towards you is someone that um, is also alchemy, like they deal with the spiritual realm. We have the number eight here. I keep seeing this. Okay, we had the eight of swords and I saw the eight of wands. So spirit is letting me know this is the year of 2024 where you take control of your love life. You take control of your partnerships. You take control of the communication that you are speaking when it comes to the people that you want around you, right? To keep you balanced. You don't want anybody that's not going to give into you as much as you give into yourself. Okay. And that's why the six of cups is here as well as the six of pentacles with the lovers. It's about balanced energy. And I feel like you're getting that. Okay. Clarify this two of pentacles. What is being balanced out? Clarify. Thank you. So these eight of swords is here twice, right? This person is realizing that it's over. So I feel like, you know, with this eight of, eight of swords, the two of pentacles and the uh, ace of swords, it's like cutting this person out of your life for good and starting to focus on what is what is best for you. OK, because you're not stuck and that's what they want to try to portray. They want to try to fuck with your mental to make you think that you and them are supposed to be together. And that is not true. That is not true. They want you to believe that you and them are supposed to be together and you're manifesting. So whatever you think is what you get, what you see, what you attract. OK, but they can't make it happen. Spirit sees what's going on. OK, you have something new coming in towards you because this is happening. This has been going on long before this person even had a whiff that you was moving on. It's like they see your son and they want to come over and see what's going on. OK, mm hmm. You've been waiting on the good things in life. You've been waiting on somebody single, abundant. And successful okay you've been gathering your coins throwing your seed and spirit is saying I'm giving you something I'm giving you something you've been waiting on okay and that is a partnership that is your 1111 connection okay exactly this is what you've been waiting on I can't make it up three of wands out here twice look three of wands out here twice with the four of wands this is the seven of wands this is all about protecting your energy while you're waiting you're protecting your energy while you're waiting you're protecting your finances and spirit is protecting you okay exactly we have the queen of cups here like i told you king of cups divine counterpart this is you and this person who has the ability to have a healthy mature relationship and that's what you want. Someone who's going to be honest and dependable, reliable. Someone that is definitely going to take action. You're waiting for your ships to come in. And Spirit is letting me know they're coming in. Okay? Five of Cups. Okay? Getting over the things from the past. Somebody is definitely going to be very unhappy as they see you move on. I told you. They're going to be stuck. They're going to be stuck. <clears throat> person is thinking about you but balance is here justice is here okay so you do have a libra type person magician i have gemini and i have uh 
Gemini, Libra, and then I have lots of swords here. So this could definitely be uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, I also have Fire Sign and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, so there's going to be some justice with the secrets or things that are hidden. There go your King of Swords. Okay, so yeah, really seeing through the bullshit, right? Same shit, different day. I can't make it up. You like, who don't want to be like me? Who don't want to, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. There's going to be a decision that's made. Somebody is about to get their whole ego rocked. They go, your king of wands. I'm trying to tell you. And you got the king of swords. They met they match. Don't fuck with me and mine. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> this, this, this. And you know what's so crazy? The king of swords is always known to be someone who doesn't have any heart. As well as the king of wands right but you have the king of cups matching the queen of cups which is letting me know that both of these people had a lot of love for you but one is unhealthy and one is not okay and so somebody who's unhealthy that keeps secrets that don't express their self is going to get cut out and things will balance out for you okay so let me see what's hidden because the moon energy came out here the eight of swords the five of cups the four of cups the high priestess right those are all the magician these are all energies that have hidden situations hidden things okay we have obsession okay infatuation adoration and addiction there's two it's, it's like two sides of the spectrum you could be obsessive to the point where it's um it's like a karmic it's like toxic and then you could have someone who adores you so much that it's it's cute right it's nice it's, it's it's healthy right it's balanced right and that's what you want you don't want somebody who's thinking about you wants you to their self but they don't know how to commit they don't know how to just be focused on you like they want you and everybody else with this seven of cups right they want you and they want this. It's like, how do I choose? What do you mean, how do you choose? When you have the Ace of Pentacles, you don't need to think about... There's no decision. I want the I want the Ace of Pentacles, right? I want collective. I want my collective, right? That's what this person is saying. I want your collective. <laughs> it told you. They want a second chance, an opportunity. Isn't that the Ace of Pentacles? A return. So I'm trying to tell you, this person's going to come back. And pop up because they're trying to block this new person from coming in, but it don't work. The only reason why they're doing this is because of Mercury retrograde and because they have a sense that, you know, you have somebody else that is thinking about you. Secret admirer. I told you. Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, hell yeah. Okay. Divine Feminine. I told you. I can't make this up. Yeah. You got two people here. You got one that want to return, and you got a new person that's eyeballing you, okay? You have depth, awareness, importance, and value. You know what you're worth. <clears throat> and so do they, but they fucked up. Exactly. Look at you, beauty, okay? Charming, graceful, kind-hearted, king of cups, queen of cups energy. When you can't fuck with a, 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 a angel, you cannot fuck with an angel on earth. Don't fuck with a spiritual person because you don't know who's backing them up. And this person is treading on uncharted um, waters with trying to go to somebody that they think is going to be able to overpower you. And it's not happening. They're not going to be able to get through. Mm. It's going to backfire. You fucking with the wrong one. <laughs> and this new person that's coming in child, I can't make it your soulmate I told you you're manifesting this new person to come in look hoping soulmates okay deep love unity connection expecting faith manifesting when I say this new person that's coming in they can't stop them okay <laughs> This person left you. I'm trying to tell y'all. And they want to they want to come back in and say what? What do you want to say? You left. You you the one who made it seem like I was the difficult person or my collective was the one that you couldn't get along with. 
Now you thinking about them makes no shit. It makes no sense. Exactly. It makes no sense. Okay. Same shit, different day. Elusive. Dishonesty, deception, and trickery. I can't make this up when I say what I say. This person, you know, they want a second chance, but they're going to have to admit. And even if they do, it's like, you're not happy with this person. You wasn't happy with them either. Four of cups, ten of cups. That's the five of cups. And we have it right here. They know they didn't make you happy when they was with you. They juggled you with other people. <laughs> there's, there's, there's nothing you could say, right? They want to come and confess this. I can't make this up, okay? They want to come in and confess, right? They want to come clean. They want to be honest now, right? Try to get you in your head to think about them and their offer. <laughs> please, okay? Please. You looking for bigger and better, okay? Exactly. I'm healing. I ain't got time for this. You release this person. You cleanse yourself. And I think that's the other thing, too. They miss your love. They're missing your energy. This is an energy vampire. This is not somebody that, exactly, mixed signals, blocked emotions, messed up, heart fog. This is not the real thing. This is an illusion. Spirit is like you're getting what you thought you had with this person. You're getting with somebody better. Okay? They caused you too much pain in life. Oh, Lord. Let me hurry up and get out of here. Exactly. This person was very stubborn in the connection. You got some fucking... Uh... <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Didn't I say trying to distract you, right? Change delays. This person is trying to delay this connection with this new person, but it does not work. It does not. It will not. It cannot. Okay. Farewell. Leaves behind. Closure. Just, just, you know what I'm saying? That's why I said don't, don't get crazy because like I said, this person's going to realize that you're moving on. You don't want anything to do with them. And you have this new person coming in, okay? And this person is going to, this karmic from your past is going to have to accept reality and realize that, you know, they messed up. They messed up. And they can't get you back. <laughs> okay? No matter what they do, they can't get you back. Unless you want to go back. I can't tell you what to do, but according to these cards, you have something so much better. Why would you want that karmic lesson to come back into your life when you're calling and manifesting a soulmate that's going to give into this connection the way you deserve to have somebody treat you, right? The same way you give into the connection, okay? Why am I going to stay here and deal with an impersonator when I can have the real thing? <laughs> Okay, so let's go ahead and pull out some love cards and see about this new person. As soon as I find my deck, y'all, I move stuff all around, but I found it. Okay. All right, Spirit, talk about it. Let's talk about this soulmate. So we have a truck, not chase. Exactly. Exactly. You don't. <laughs> okay. Attract love by being present and enjoying life rather than chasing it. Let love come to you naturally by focusing on your journey. And that's that King of Cups, Queen of Cups energy. You doing you, boo. You having fun. Ooh, child. See, look, love at first sight. The chemistry between you and them has always been present. You both felt a strong spark when you first saw each other. So that that could also be it. Like sometimes when we're manifesting a new person and there was unfinished business or somebody who's still connected to you energetically, they will come back into your life, especially during Mercury retrograde, right? But you have your future. I love it. I love it, Spirit. Thank you. I love it. We'll take it, right? We talking about the future, okay? Your person envisions a future with you, and they will encourage you to pursue your personal goals, not just those of the relationship, right? Somebody that cares about you and your dreams and what you love. Who don't want that? Shit. 
not somebody who got you juggling, got you as an option. Option? I ain't sign up for that, right, Collective? You ain't sign up for no option. Please. Anything else, Spirit? Thank you. Money matters, okay? I told you, talk to your partner about your finances to ensure you have same financial perspective and goals. So you and this person definitely going to talk about a lot of different things, especially when I saw the Queen and King of Swords, the Emperor and the Empress, and the Queen and King of Cups. That's letting me know that this, this is going to be something that starts off very beautiful in the emotional department as well as communication. So Spirit wants you and this person to talk about your future goals, and that's what they want. That's what they want to do. Oh, forehead kiss. This person that sincerely cares for you will always stand by your side and cherish you with their entire being. What's mine is yours. I could do this for hours. I love it. <laughs> okay, I could do this for hours. Thank you, spirit. Okay, so you do have this new person coming in towards you and i feel like they're gonna really adore you they're gonna really love on you right the both of you gonna do it to each other spirit is saying this is going to be a harmonizing relationship something that gives to the relationship and receives at the same time i'm it's like y'all gonna outdo each other like who who could give to to the relationship more because you just make this person feel like you know innocent and loving if you have children you're going to enjoy allowing your children to be around this person your life your love life is being affected i think they're going to love that about you that you're if you're if you have children that you're domesticated you're nurturing you're caring they're going to love those qualities because when you have children or when you have young people or other people that you have to take care of or be responsible for you kind of Pick up on other people's needs. That's a gift. Because not everybody could be doing that. Some people can have children and they selfish as fuck. As as your baby daddy. If this is if that's your story. Or your ex-husband. Or your ex-wife. Or your baby mama. However it resonate. Okay. But you can have kids and don't, don't put them first. I've seen it all the time. Okay. This person's going to love that about you. All right. <clears throat> anything else thank you spirit so we have exactly romantic feelings yes your feelings are real and worth exploring with this person i told you king of cups queen of cups i can't make it up all right you've been waiting for this person to come in towards you i can't make it up and then you have the king of cups right here okay look at y'all divine peer looking at each other like meow sexy sexy <laughs> okay yep that's what i'm hearing okay so <clears throat> spirit is definitely letting me know you've been waiting on this they've been waiting on it's like y'all gonna have a very harmonious home together you know the relationship is gonna start as the foundation of two balanced people that love themselves put themselves first but you want partnership and that's what you was waiting on somebody that's gonna adore you right i think when you get stressed out they're gonna kiss you on the forehead love at first sight comes back out again and then we have serious conversations right okay because you know past people want to sh sh come in and and, and, and cock block <laughs> y'all gonna talk about it <laughs> Like, what's going on here? Right? Give your relationship a chance. Exactly. Because they're trying to stop something that can start off. So, but it don't work. It don't work. Right? Spirit wants you to work on this with this new person. Okay. Y'all. Thank you, Spirit. Soulmate. I can't make this up. This is your soulmate. Yes. This is your soulmate. Spirit said yes. And that's this Ace of Sword. Yes. This is your soulmate. This is who you're supposed to be with. This is who you're going to live a long, prosperous, loving connection with. This is who you're going to live life out with. Okay? Yeah. Somebody that definitely is going to make you feel like you can relax. You can take a rest. It's time to enjoy life. Bye.